G'day, it's Brack here, and in this video I am doing a range review with a twist. Let's have a look at the Games Workshop Orc range. I'm going to keep bear in mind that there is a new codex coming very shortly, next couple of months, or before Christmas. So, let's go and check them out. It's going to be fun. Alright, I thought I would start in ascending order from price. So from the cheapest thing to the most expensive. You might be startled by some of the prices. I'm Australian, these are in Australian prices. And we tend to be a little bit more expensive down here, but not as expensive as New Zealand. So let's start with the Battle Wagon Upgrade Pack. Now, I've never bought this. Now, I only have one Battle Wagon. I was surprised that the roller didn't come with it. I never did anything about it. I just, I made a scratch bit roll, roller and I never bought one because I didn't buy stuff online. I used to like to go into the shops and this was never in the shops. So I never got it. Will I get it? Why not? Next up is the Orc Mech. Now, I really, really like this model. Somehow I bought two, but that's so that I could actually get the, the two different fit outs. Look at this, the sprue. It was nice, it was simple. At least it gave you options of the spanner or the saw. Now, the kill saw is a better weapon to use. I don't see much use on the table at the moment. With points allowing, sometimes I used to like to have them in trucks. And because the custom mega saga firing out of a truck as a death skulls can be quite devastating. An, an attractive little kit. Now, next up, something I never bought, but I didn't really like the look of him, is Mad Doc Grotznik. Yeah, he just, there was something about this I don't like. I think it's probably an older style. I don't know. I would really like to see them replace this with something a bit more fresher and be quite nice. Although I can't see it happening with Edition 9. I, I just really can't. We've, we've got, what, four characters already? Some names, some unnamed. And the Gretchen. Now, got a few of these kits. I don't like it. I do think this is one of the worst kits around. It's lazy. Just look, he's got three feet, the three toes. He's got four. I'm not a fan, not a fan at all. I don't think we'll see new Grot models. I'd like to, but I don't think it's going to happen. Okay, oh, pain boy. Well, he really, well, we know we're getting a pain boss. Whether that means we're going to get a pain boy and a pain boss is it replacing? Probably not. I don't think so. He's going to stay, even though a lot of people don't like that head. Data cards. This will be something to be gone. So if you think about buying these I, and you haven't got one, I wouldn't bother. It will have to change because new codex, there'll be new rules. Some of the stratagems will be different. New stratagems, old stratagems going away. And here we have the Orc Warboss to the Big Chopper. Now he's metal. I have this model. Actually, it's sitting in a in a vat of solvent. I'm stripping the paint because I'm going to enter it. I'm going to repaint it and enter it into the 40k orc community. Who do you think you are? Challenge. I like him. I really, really like him. And I love the head on this thing. He's got a beautiful looking head. I think we won't be seeing this guy for too long. Another model which needs to be probably upgrade this is is this one it's still a good looking model uh, i've never been a fan of the the hair squeak with the top knot there but that's just a personal choice isn't it i like the the cyborg arm and he, he looks he looks quite nice i probably won't rush out and buy it will they replace it i don't think so i really don't think so now look at him isn't he lovely now i've always i've always wanted to get my hands on this one and i really probably should I just, just, I do like it. Oh, but Orc Boss Zag Struck. He's a nice looking model. And for 40 bucks, yeah, cheap as chips. Remember, it's all relative. And uh, we, I am talking from the Australian perspective. Good old Snitrot. He's a, he's a bit of a favourite. I, I haven't got him. 
but I did make one, an orc knob, and I cut up some old daggers to give this sort of jagged edge. He looks good. And this looks good too. Yeah, he's a, he's a nice model, and I don't think they will be replacing him. Now, something that does need to be replaced is this little janky guy. The chain. It just seems odd. It's at a funny angle there. Yeah, maybe if it was not, if that wasn't such that, that sharp angle and more sort of a bent that would look sort of make more sense. But it, it just always seemed odd. Other than that, not bad looking at all. Pose is great. Not a big fan of sitting on the tire, but uh, they sort of did that with a lot of models, didn't they? Which I think I'd prefer it not because I can then make my own base. He's all right. He's all right. I'd like to see this one replaced. Are they going to do a weird boy? Oh, yeah. I'd love to see one. I really hope to see a weird boy. And the big mech with the shock tack gun. Yeah, look, it says temporarily out of stock online. But that, that really doesn't mean anything. I was talking to a few Brits earlier this, this morning. They were looking at the British website. And I was looking at the Australian website. And there were different things temporarily out of stock. Never bought this model. I bought the Finecast one. When the fine cast first came out, I, I grabbed on it, bought the mod. I thought, yep, I like that, I'll get it. And everyone was whinging about fine cast. And uh, I'd never experienced it before, but I had I had no issues with it. No, I found, found it to be a good model. It wasn't until other models that I bought in fine cast that I realized what the hell they were talking about. Now he's in plastic. I can't see them changing that. Now, what I would like to see change is the Burner Boys and the Looters. They are in the same kit. Now, will they change it? I don't know. First, I thought, no, they probably won't, even though there are some things that we haven't seen and we've promised 50, around about 50% more what we've seen so far. Doing the quick sums, look, I've, I've done videos about this before, what I think, what I think we're most likely to see. But however said that, that little rumor video going around of new boys, Will they do the same thing? Just add litter and burners to a to a board, create a new different kit? I don't know. I really don't know. There's a lot of, a lot of speculation going on here, isn't there? If we do it, if we get a new boys kit, then we probably could see new burners and new new looters. You know, I've got loads of got loads of burners and I've got loads of looters. I, I always wear a fiddly kit to put together. I, I swore a lot putting the, this stuff together. I would like to see something different. We've got all the, we've got these different types of weapons made from different bits. They all seem to shoot the same profile. Now I know that makes it a nice, easy way to play and a quicker way to play, but it'd be nice to see something that fits the, fits the lore a bit better. Yeah, so you can have a little rocket and some like that. That'd be great, but I can't see it myself. And there we go, we different types of weapons there. So that would have been, that would have been lovely, but hey, it is what it is. Uh, look, nice solid kit. Now, the Storm Boys. Let's have a look at the Storm Boys. So, interesting enough, they are roughly the same price as the Looter Kit. They're a bigger model. Got a few of these, but I've never had fun. Didn't have a good time painting them, I don't know why. I think I got them really early in my Orc painting career, and I just didn't have the skills for all this lovely detail. So, I really should probably go back and strip them all and then try again. They're great at the moment and I suspect will be these will still be here. New codex. Okay, orc knobs. I do like this kit and the main reason is because of all the bits that you get so much. There's so much bits here, isn't there? Look at that we have. Because you basically get all the weapon options. Yeah, here's a, a power stabber and a kill saw and there's some combi weapons. There's just so much stuff and which is was fantastic. And I, I did like this head here with the like the, the, the odd looking snorkel bit that was always quite quite nice, a bit of a favourite of mine. Push to fit, it's sort of uh, made it easy to build. You've got the chopper and slugger op options there. And then we've got a few of the uh, big chopper options, which I really, really like. I think my favorite is this one here, where he heads over his shoulder. Great kit, little ammo run, good head. GW do seem a good orc head, which is, uh, which is always nice. And there's all the odd boss poles for the various clans. 
Although we don't really use boss poles anymore, they're more for decorative purposes, aren't they? The boys. Well, have a look at the boys. Really old kit. It's an old favourite. And it, well, it's only rumour yet. Looks like they may be replaced. If this is true, we should hear really soon from Games Workshop because they like to jump on these, these rumours especially if they're true so if we don't hear for a week or so then maybe it's not true that's that's just, that's just a theory of mine i do not need to buy any more of these boys because i've got about 150 in various stages of incompletion which i probably should get onto really quickly shouldn't i <laughs> one day without a doubt the worst kit in the orc range is the death copter um yeah it's ugly it needs to be hit with a big stick and burnt with fire the staple of any orc army is the truck and i've got about four of them i love them now a lot of people do buy them because they're a great way to, to get lots of mech guns out and these can be customized a variety of ways i've seen some great conversions with this kit and it's a beautiful kit and it's reasonably priced the price has gone up in the last four years it used to be 50 i used to like it when it was 50 dollars give them a pineapple and they give you a truck wonderful stuff so next to the met guns i'm not going to open up each of the met guns look they're very expensive however everyone seems to want them now i've only got three here even though i know there's more why is that the case I don't know why they're showing more. It must confuse some of the newbies who not, might not realise this is all in the same kit. GW in there. And they're strange ways. I've always wanted to build a bubble chuck, but I've never got around to it. So maybe I should do that one day. If you need to make three or four guns, but of different different types, all you really need to do is, is spend 120, almost 130 bucks on one mech gun and one truck. And voila, you've got scratch built varieties of all the types of mech guns see it's a smasher gun they're not showing is there okay and the orc war biker mob another model i had just haven't really enjoyed painting i've stripped it a couple of times and repainted them but i've never really had just any joy doing it and i don't know why because i do love the, the look of these these models and and i do love the actual these the weapons they've got I did like the the pipe and the chain and this little spiked pipe See, there's one with a chain another kit that had lots of bits especially within it comes to the arms so I, I think i've still got a few of these box not much else um with with um comes building the bike there isn't much bits left over but there always was a lot of arms left over which is uh, which is fun all right, so <laughs> just just quickly talk about the uh, the two book the two books. Um, yeah, the prices. It's very expensive to buy books in a, in Australia, and I have bought both, and I will continue to do so. There are places you can go in Australia to actually get discount, so they uh, uh, get twenty percent off. It's about fifty six dollars now. I think the new codex is going to go up to around about. $84, which seems to be about the same price as the recent Codex. Flash Git. It's a shame they don't play well on the table, because they're a beautiful looking kit. I do love them. So many extra bits to play with too. I have so many of these um, leftover bits to play with, and you know, I do love that. The sidebar arm with the dagger is just beautiful. And I've always got this boss pole with the boot. He looks quite good too. It, you can just make different types of guns that sort of don't make sense. You don't have to follow the instructions. And you just come up with some great creations. And there's all these glyphs. You don't have to put them on the boss poles. The boss pole's a bit, a bit bare. And just use these for other vehicles and buildings. Just so much you can do with it. And the do I don't mind the pirate motif in this instance. Yeah, oh, it's got a couple of boys and knobs with uh, with pirate hats, which is always a bit funny, isn't it? Now next up, we've got the orc commandos and the orc tank busters. I'll do those separately. They're both the same price, and they are both fail cast. 
or sorry, fine cars. They look good. Never bought them. It, it, it just seemed like a lot of money to spend on five models when you really need 15. Yeah, and that's that's a lot of dollars. I want to see these change. They need more, and they really need more options. Yeah, let's bring back a big shooter or a burner or even a rocket. That'd be nice. That would be really nice. And you know, why not have a commando knob without a claw or a big chopper? That'd be fun. And the exact same could be said for the tank busters. Now, yeah, I didn't have much fun painting these. I had to wash these things a lot of times. And this guy here, he broke so many times. The rocket came off and it just now looks so janky that I don't want to use it. Although the bomb squeaks are beautiful. Please, replace these. Replace these. Killer cans. I love me killer cans. I've got probably about 17 of the buggers and they are beautiful it's a shame they don't play well at the moment you can keep these these are a classic i would probably still buy more because they're fun they are fun and uh, let's face it so many bits left over so many bits left over yeah look i i, I could go on about how much i love this kit but i'm not going to because I think I haven't really met someone who doesn't like him. I'm sure they're out there, but I don't know that many people are. Or if I've met them, maybe I've forgotten about them. Now we come up to the buggy section. I'm not going to click on these. There's not much need. They're all yeah, they're all the same price. They're all real. They, they are. They're all good. Some are better than others. I'm looking at you, Shop Trump Dragster, and and uh, Mega. Track Scrapjet, they seem to be the favourites at the moment. I have, I have the War Trike, the Boom Decker Snaz Wagon, and the Shock Jump Drags are the ones I, I love. I would love to see myself uh, get um, a Squig Buggy, and if the rumours are correct, they'll be a lot better to play play with. And I wouldn't be surprised if they give this buggy the. This beast snaggers keyword I'd be yeah, I wouldn't I suppose they'll do that to make them a bit more a bit more playable because they actually get some interesting rules, don't they? I love the buggies. I really do. And I want to try and collect them all. It's a slow process and I can't see them replacing these at the moment. I really just can't. Now there was some talk this morning I was talking to a few people and someone put through an interesting theory that if they have the war boss now we're going to see the new war boss the mega armor that they might actually be like the mega knobs and the big mech and mega arm kit and have one boss and two two knobs now i can't see it myself i think the aesthetics are a bit different and i think they'll keep with these i can't see them change them and, and i don't know why i can't have any justification for that it's just a feeling i, I have and let's face it this kit is great i do like it there is so much versatility one of the issues is you only get three and to get the best value you need probably two so you can have five at least five mega knobs and one big mech most people with the big mech do prefer the custom force field i actually made i actually made this because i love that gun it's a beautiful gun but a lot of people have this set out because it plays better you need you need the little protection that from the invulnerable save don't you so many bits so much versatility and you only really need three mega knobs in a truck is fine five would be better to really get the most out of this you've got to buy your two kits at least my old favorite the death dread he is great yeah he's um for australians eight three dollars isn't too bad it's, it's just a lovely kit it's I really hope they do not change this at all. There is so much going on. And of course, you get those extra, extra bits. You know, so what's in here? You've got, you've got various um, shoulder pads and you've got a whole lot of different horns and other little dangly bits and some glyphs, some dags, some sharp bits, lots of different rockets. So we've got 
You've got some rockets here, custom mega blasters, one of my favourite weapons, uh, lots of bit of exhaust source bits going on there. So you can mix and match and come up with a creation of your finest choosing. Love this model and I do not want it to go away. Now, this confuses me. What gets me is the price. Now, there has always been a theory around that Games Workshop like to change their prices um, depending on whether they sell or not. In Australia, they jumped from $70 to $84. There was no real change in the rules. Yeah, there was the bizarre rule changes which they, they changed and swapped. And I would have thought that because they might have made it a bit cheaper, but they didn't. They went the other way and it confused me and a bit sad because I didn't buy it. I should have bought it when it was $70, but I didn't because I thought, oh, I'm not going to play it. I can do it later. And I'm definitely not buying it at that price. It's just, it's not, it's not worth it. Although there is some nice terrain, scattered terrain would be lovely, but yeah, I, there are other things I could be spending $84 on. Okay, now this kit really really bugs me it just so annoying that if you want to buy a war boss for the power cloud you gotta buy a bloody knob tax 90 bucks 90 bucks whereas the, the other knobs are 46 or so 50 bucks for for, for gruck would be nice then you gotta pay an extra play yeah no it's 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 just not on i've never been a fan of it it's a shame they did bring it out individually the kill team yeah, bad move gw um, really shirty and I'm going to click away from it before I get too angry. W pricing, how they price models always makes me want to scratch my head because look at this. You've got Gasgull, you've got the Jets, you've got a battle wagon for the same price and as a side they're also the same price as um, Gaunt's Ghosts uh, they're going for this price as well so <laughs> I don't know, do they just do they have all the prices in a in a big hat and then they go, alright, we've got this model, how much are we going to pay for it? Oh yeah, that's alright, new Gretchen Overlord, $200, there you go. I don't think that's the case, but it just seemed like that some days. So we've got Gaskell, he's nice, I never bought him, I think I'd like to get him one day, but you know, $110. There are other things I could be spending my money on for a bit more better value, but yeah, you know, I'll have to wait and see. But look, he's, he's nice, you know, he's, he is quite, he's, he's quite a nice looking model. Let's do the little, let's give me a little whirl. Whee! That was fun. He's just, and I've seen so, but people have just done some really great paint jobs with this. Oh, this fellow, so. I think I am going and I'm doing a small little golf army, so I may need to get a proper gas for him, but not just yet, not just yet. Let's look at the, the battle wagon. Now, as I said before, I bought this and it didn't have the roller. I wished that I knew that when I first bought it, seven years ago, and he's nice. I still think he holds up quite well. Good looking beast. I could, I could buy 10 of these. And still a lot of uh, potential to make different build outs. Good solid kit, and I can't see that one leaving at all. Now, the other kits that I can't see going or changing is the Jets. I like all the Jets. I have two Dacker Jets and a Woz Bomb Blast Jet. I really want to get myself a Blitzer Bomber and, and the Burner Bomber. Just so I've, I've, I've done me Pokemon thing. Got to collect him all. Pokemon? Yeah, and what I do like about this kit is that you, it's the it's the same kit for what each other variant you have. So there's bits galore. It's great for kit bashing. Everyone should get a playing kit or four. Or maybe even more. Now I must admit that I do collect. I'm, I'm, I'm a collector first, player second. I, I don't sort of go and get the kits that, oh, that's the best one, and that's the best one to play with, so I'll go and get that. I that's I just, I like a model, and then I build my army around the models that I have. And generally, once I buy a model, I tend to add that into a list somehow, so I can at least play with it once. And unfortunately, simply as stock is the 
Gorkonaut or Morganaut. Unfortunately, they don't play as well as I would like. I remember when they first came out, everyone was getting really excited. We thought this could be the answer to the Knights. Alas, they weren't. Got beaten up and, and Riptides. Although he was at a tournament once where playing against a Tau player. And he has had very unfortunate luck. I had I had be, be Morganaut and I was out shooting the Riptide with my Morganaut. Believe it or not, it's actually a true story. Hawks won that day, who would have thought? And it was seven Ed. I know, bizarre. Well, I don't think a stranger thing has ever happened in the history of history. Star collecting box, he's a, he's a bit of a favorite. We're not going to see him. He's going to be replaced with the combat patrol, whatever that is. I'm not going to talk about, I'm not going to speculate about that. This is, this is, a, this is a, a good, you've got knobs, which are fantastic. You've got boys, another pain boy, which is a bit of a letdown. But the main reason why you would get it is basically for this guy. And boys, you can never have enough boys. And the ammo runs quite nice. And look, the thing with knobs is a lot of versatility in them and you can fit them out. And there's some excellent uh, kit bashing opportunities to be had there. Okay, now this leads us to the last item in the Orc range, the Stomper. Will it get rule changes? Will they bring down the points cost? One would hope, one would hope. Who knows, they, they, they never have. For some reason, Games Workshop thinks it plays a lot better than what it does, or maybe they just don't care. I'm thinking stupidity over malice in this regard. I never got it. I almost did. On my 50th birthday, I actually asked for gift vouchers, um, Games Workshop gift vouchers as a present, because I didn't need much. I got quite a lot, and I was going in, I was going to buy it, but I end up buying the Blood Bowl game set instead. And I still haven't worked out whether that was a good choice or not. I'd like to get it, just so I can have a really big build. I think it'd be fun. He's iconic, isn't it? It really is an iconic piece. Now, when people talk about orcs and orc vehicles, the stomper just it gets implanted in my head. That's the first orc vehicle I think of even though I don't have one. It's a nice kit. What was interesting, I was talking to a few people about, about the price of this kit. In, uh, and then in, I believe in, in the UK, this is actually the same price as a Gorgonaut, which, well, I now realize why people say they don't like that kit. It's too expensive. Because can you imagine trying to compare the Morkonaut Gorkonaut kit with the Stomper on price and think it's the same and you think, yeah, that's not worth it. I can understand that. I'd like to get it. I'd really like to get it. Well, there you have it. 54 Orc things in the range. I haven't done the old count up or things like that, but they, they said there was 54 things to look at and I believe them. It's a, it's a nice range. There's, there's lots of good things in there. There's some bad things and it's been fun to wanting to collect them. I think I would like to get them all if I could, except for probably the commandos. I'm not gonna go on about the prices. GW is expensive. They just are, which means I have to save pennies for things and sometimes I buy other things instead. There are other third party alternatives. And if you don't wanna go into a games workshop to play, which is the Australian um, experience, then, you know, you're not missing out on anything, are you? Just if you've decided to, to buy a, a third party piece or so, one, one of these things. Now, now you've had a look at the, the ranges. What do you think they're going to get rid of? What do you think that, What do you think they'll replace? Um, don't tell me what you think this new stuff will be in. I don't really need to know that. We're, we're finding that now as we go along, aren't we? With this new adventure that's the new orc adventure of the new code, the codex, which I'm finding to be quite fun. So, yeah, so what in this range do you hate? What do you like? If someone put a gun to your head and said you've got 200 Australian dollars to play with it, you have to buy, you have to buy some models. Which one? Or which which combination would you choose? Comments below. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please like, subscribe, and share. Do all the algorithmic things. 
And if you would like to help me out financially, uh, there's always a buy me a coffee and Patreon. The links are in the description. Okay, trying to toddle off. So remember, if you go on crumping, you've got to bash early and bash often.